Do you know what it's time for? Is it? The Skeleton Update. So there are a mere two skeletons in Murders at Karlov Manor. Mm Mm-hmm. But they're pretty great skeletons. They are pretty great. Yeah, which one do you want to talk about first? Um, let's look at the let's look at the hunted one because that's a really cool one. Okay. Context. Yes. <laughs> okay, hopefully I can and keep this concise enough to yeah. stay interesting. <clears throat> Way back in Mercadian Masks, which I think was nineteen ninety nine. Many moons ago. <laughs> yes. Uh there was a card printed, which was a six six for three and a green, which was an absurd stat line for that. And the trick to that was it was negatively costed, meaning that instead of normal costing where you have to pay more mana to get more things, you get a bigger body for less mana, but there's a drawback. Mm -hmm. And the hunted Wumpus said that when it entered the battlefield, each other player could put a creature (laughs) card straight from their hand onto the battlefield yeah i think i am i'm familiar with this card from earlier in my history playing magic when i put together a feldegriff deck in mm-hmm. commander and this is it you know it, if you're playing group hug this yeah, is a thing you okay, put okay, in okay. and potentially abuse by blinking it or nice. trying to get that effect more than once but yeah it's in most situations typically a downside to just let your opponents drop free creatures <laughs> yeah so the hunted wampus mm-hmm. stood alone for a number of years and then with original ravnica which was six years later in 2005 there was a cycle of rare creatures that was hunted fill in the blank so there's a troll a dragon a horror a phantasm and a lamasu and in each case you get a big body with good abilities for its mana rate perhaps most shockingly two black mana for a seven seven trample yeah that one's wild for the hunted horror Mm -hmm. but your opponent gets one or more tokens so for the 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 black one they would get two three three centaur tokens the uh the blue one was one blue blue for a four six that was unblockable but your Mm -hmm. opponent got five goblin tokens yeah and like the the black one it makes centaur tokens that have pro black oh right so yeah yeah yeah. it's real bad (laughs) yeah 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 on the whole really bad but like neat cards yeah they're they're neat and there's one in each color so that's kind of cool and they've reprinted those over the years Mm -hmm. in commander sets um but i don't think they've released one for yeah, I don't think we've had no, any for 20, new... 19 years, 19 yeah, years. Yeah, we haven't had any new creatures in right. this cycle. But now we're back on Ravnica, mm-hmm. where this cycle started, and we get the Hunted Bone Brute. Yep. And like its predecessors, it's undercosted. It's a 6-2 menace for 2 and a black. Mm-hmm. Very good rate, but your opponent gets two one one white dog tokens. Mm-hmm. And, but it has the additional upside that when it dies, each opponent loses 3 life. So good in any format particular commander when everyone's losing life yeah but and it has disguise that's the trick because the opponent only gets the tokens when it enters the battlefield right but if it enters disguise that doesn't go off and then if it transforms via disguise yeah you don't have to to give (laughs) your opponents the uh the dog tokens Mm -hmm. though i mean who doesn't like dogs running around but the dog tokens in this set notably are really great yeah yeah they really are yeah it's like artistically like the dog token is fantastic. They're glorious, yes. Yeah. In fact, I would have problems blocking with one in my yeah. eye. So, like, yeah. you little psychological warfare A little bit. There. You're like, you really want to block this puppy? Yeah. But what do you think of the uh, the art of the bone brute? I like that it shows the dogs. I love that when we see elements of the card function yeah. in the card art. Um. I think this is really cool. I like the skeleton. I like the the motion that we can see in the pose yeah. from the skeleton and like the two dogs are sort of antagonizing it. Um, and it's kind of an interesting angle too. We're like on a streetway in Ravnica, but we're looking yeah. almost at this odd perspective. Yeah, nothing is yeah. quite level. I didn't no. notice that. So that kind of helps mm-hmm. with the sense of motion and like we're, we're, yeah, we're in the middle of the table here. It's, it's not like a head on. Um, oh, hello. Here's a dog. Yes. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. 
It's neat. I've gotten it once in limited, and it was oh, nice. great. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's the bone brute, and then the other skeleton in the set is not itself mm -hmm. a skeleton. Right. It is an enchantment. It is a case, the case of the stashed skeleton. So this makes a skeleton token when it enters and suspects it. You have to control no suspected skeletons to solve this case. Um, and there's some fun little Easter eggs if you look closely in the art. Uh, the one that I noticed today when we were talking about this was the little puppet Jace in the very bottom portion of this case. Did you see that on the card size art? I did. Wow. I did, yeah. <laughs> Um, and he features in some other, uh, it, one other card that I know of for sure from Ravnica Allegiance. Yeah. Uh, the cult guild mage shows a Rakdos jester puppeteering this little puppet Jace. That's a very one-off kind of puppet, so yeah. I guess that kind of implies that the skeleton It could be, like, is this either... is probably the same, pu yeah, is yeah. this the... The puppeteer, or is it yeah. the victim of the puppeteer? Who's to say? And then we also have the, the skeleton is clutching the lead pipe <laughs> that we see in one of the other um, equipment cards. Yeah. Um, there's some tools and other things in here. I didn't recognize any of these other pieces offhand, but if you recognize yeah. them or if any of our viewers do, feel yeah. free to mention what they are. Like this, this, yeah. this pitcher in the lower left mm -hmm. looks like it might be significant, it but could, I don't recognize yeah, it. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. recognize it offhand. Uh, but the other really cool thing is when you look at the art for the token that this card makes, it kind of flips the roles. So in this yeah. art, it looks like the skeleton is in fact the murderer yeah. or the assailant. <laughs> and it's holding a different weapon, which I also thought was interesting, that it goes from holding a dagger to oh. a pipe. So is it posed that, that way? Is is the skeleton in fact seeking vengeance? Yeah. I think there's a lot of fun well, things I, to Well, I guess it must be because the... Uh... Yeah, I don't know which is before and after, yeah. but, you know, this does create the skeleton, mm -hmm. which then uh, has suspects so it's going to do a lot of attacking. So. Yeah, because you have to get rid of the skeleton to solve the case. Yeah. So you're either stashing it or killing it. Yeah. Or eliminating it in some way from I really reality. like the, the vegetation on it, too. I, I do, don't, too. I don't know what that is. I don't know what it means. It looks almost like vines. Let, mm -hmm. Let's zoom in and see if we can... Yeah, there, there are vines connecting these yeah. little pink blooms i guess yeah it looks like some kind of flowering vine is growing on the skeleton yeah. and i like that too yeah it's it's really beautiful mm -hmm. which is kind of ironic given that it's a murdering skeleton mm -hmm. but you know <laughs> yeah i like this token art a lot yeah so yeah uh just two two cards in the mm -hmm. set but they're good cards yeah solid skeleton update nice work uh -huh. <laughs>